Guys, what's up? Brett Mix here for Macho Wrestling 101, and we have another random match of the day review, and this one's a sleeper. It's a classic that not many talk about from Spring Stampede 1998. It has Chavo Guerrero, and his corner is Eddie Guerrero, his uncle, and his manager in this match against the Ultimo Dragon. It was the second match of Spring Stampede 1998, and it was a banger. Before I get to the review of the match, I just want to say you can hit like and subscribe if you like my reviews. We punch out these videos daily, and we do a lot of old school reviews. Plus the new school, I'll review Raws and Smackdown. So hit subscribe if you like that kind of stuff. It would help me get my channel off the floor, and I'd appreciate it. Back to the match. Chavo Guerrero, as I said, had Eddie in his corner, and Eddie was really hard on him in this match. Chavo sucks chance. Eddie Guerrero sucks chance. Eddie sucks was the actual chant name. But uh, Eddie sucks and Chavo sucks. The crowd would go back and forth as Eddie Guerrero would plug his ears and do all those great heel mannerisms to get at the crowd. And... Eddie Guerrero was very hard on Chavo, even when he was in the offense here. He started with the Ultimo Dragon applying a waist lock on Chavo and then into a front face lock, followed by a quick drop toe hold by Chavo into a front face lock arm bar, and then it's your standard chain wrestling sequence to start a match. Uh, Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar use these spots when they start a match. Also, Angle and Benoit from WrestleMania 17, I believe, started with this sequence. Uh, so the the dragon obviously had his late grapevine by Chavo, but then he flips over and then he uses a headlock and he goes into a leg lock by bending his body like a pretzel. Great counter move into a side headlock, and then they, both guys get up and the crowd. Some members of the crowd cheer the wrestling sequence. They both get up though, and Dragon sends them to the corner, and then followed by a drop kick, then a thrust kick. And these guys are not letting it out. This is a, this guys are letting it out everything they have. This is a great match here. Eddie sucks starts as the chant, and Chavo pretends he doesn't hear it either. He hits two Hurricane Ranas on on the Dragon, stomps away at him. Such crisp offense. These guys with side headlock takeovers and just landing on the mat just excellently. I don't think that's a word excellently, but it was, it was a, I can't be I can't articulate the type of maneuver there. It was a great one. Ultimo Dragon then had, a, had an unbelievable surfboard submission hold as he like bended Chavo's uh, body backwards while pointing his knee right into the spine of Chavo while he bent back and held him into the air. Uh, that was a great spot. The, what was really great about this uh, wrestling, uh, it wasn't just the chain wrestling, it's the menu, it's the counter wrestling. It, it was how each man get out of this hold and then pl apply a different hold. That's what made this great. Tons of near falls, uh, standing switch with an Oklahoma roll after it, uh, and then the bat, and then a backslide followed by another side headlock takeover, then a drop kick, and then a Hurricane Rana, and then there was a spot where Chavo went to the top, and the Ultimo Dragon got uh, uh, got him caught up there, and he hit growing first did Chavo on the top turnbuckle, so the Ultimo Dragon got him to the to the apron and suplexed him to the floor, then Ultimo Dragon hit a, a springboard moonsault onto Chavo from the floor. And then they went back into the ring and did some more chain wrestling sequences. An enziguri by the Ultimo Dragon. Travo tries to get him as Eddie spots an opening as Ultimo Dragon is down and he because he kicked him in the groin. Eddie told Chavo to go get him at the time, but Chavo waited as the official said, you can't attack Ultimo Dragon, he's hurt. So Eddie was furious at this and he put the cloth over his head. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> Uh, Chavo was distracted, but he he hit a move. He said, that's for you, Eddie, as he hit a suplex, Eddie Guerrero's signature suplexes. And he said, that's for you, Eddie. Chavo then went for a tornado DDT from the corner, but then Ultimo Dragon uh, countered it into an acai headlock. Uh, an acai headlock? I don't think I'm pronouncing it correctly. But Ch anyways, Chavo taps at that hold. At around 12 minutes in length, Eddie shakes his head in disgust. And what a hell of a match. Four stars before, and now it's four stars now. All day long, four stars for that match. A classic on the second match of Spring Stampede 98. It's a forgotten match. Chavo Guerrero Jr. versus the Ultimo Dragon. Four stars with the Ultimo Dragon going over. And Eddie, and it furthered the Eddie and Chavo feud that would come in 1998 after this match. So, four stars, Forgotten Classic. You can find it not only on Peacock, the WWE Network, you can also find, like all my Match of the Day reviews, you can find it in other places YouTube, Daily Motion, that kind of thing. All right, for the next Match of the Day, hit subscribe and like, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out.